So when it comes to selecting a VHF antenna to go with your fixed mount radio, there's a variety of ones to choose, but most of them are identified with a single number that indicates their performance. The number is the dB rating of the antenna. Some antennas have a 3 dB rating, others are a 6 dB, and others are a 9 dB. Now the dB rating indicates sort of how focused the energy is when you transmit using the radio. So for example, if you have a 3 dB antenna, it tends to have sort of a big donut shaped transmission pattern. Now that's actually good. It doesn't have as much punch laterally from the antenna, but if the boat heels, like on a sailboat or a small power boat in waves, you won't clip the transmission. As boats get bigger, you generally use taller and taller antennas which have more focused radiation patterns. So the standard powerboat antenna would be a 6 dB antenna, and if you've got a really big powerboat and a really stable platform, you can use a 9 dB antenna. What this allows you to do is to get greater range and greater power at the um, trade-off for not having as much angular motion on your boat. The most common antenna for a sailboat is to use one of these base-loaded antennas with a, about a 39-inch stainless steel whip on it. It allows you to put the antenna all the way up at the masthead, then run the coax down inside the mast into the VHF radio. This gets the antenna as high as possible, and yet it's a very low windage and relatively lightweight antenna. And it comes with an L bracket so it can mount to the side of your masthead or to the side of your aluminum extrusion on your mast. Power boaters have two different styles they can choose from. One is sort of like the sailboat antenna. It's a stainless steel whip with a base loading coil on it. And the antenna coax actually goes into the underside of it. It screws onto a standard mount and it can be mounted any place on the boat. I actually use one of these on my rib because I have a lot of motion in the boat and I have a lot of movement and so I want a broad radiation pattern and it's something that's very rugged that mounts up on the T-top. The other option for power boaters is to use an 8-foot 6 dB fiberglass antenna. Now these range from below $50 to above $150. So what's the difference between them? Well, you'll find that some of them have a nice white urethane painted surface on the outside, while less expensive ones are just fiberglass gel coat. The white urethane finish lasts a lot longer. It's usually associated with the Shakespeare Galaxy range of antennas. They're guaranteed for five years, and it really adds a nice look to your boat. It, it looks like it's finely crafted. The fiberglass antennas are guaranteed for about two years, and they just slowly deteriorate over time in the ultraviolet exposure. The actual distance that they transmit is about the same, but you'll find that these tend to be more rugged, larger, and have uh, more precision elements inside of them.